Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is a course play tutorial for FS22. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to save, load, and delete your courses, and how to create folders with the new FS22 course play interface, which is completely different to how it was in FS19. Uh, you can actually do a lot more with this interface. It is a lot better, but it is, as I say, completely different to the FS19 course play 6 interface. So first things we're going to do is bring up the hood, and then we're going to go into the main menu, and then we're going to go into the job creation page and we're going to create a job. I'm going to do this really quick. If you want to see how to create a job, I do have a couple of other course play tutorials, so check those out. I'll leave a link to my tutorial playlist in the comments and the description below if you want to check out any of those. So I'm just going to create this real quick. We want to be in this field here, field 10, open course play generator, and that's all fine. I've already done this a couple of times, so that should all be fine. We've got our course now we've got this course here but if think if we shut down the game and then came back to it it's more than likely this course would be not there anymore so we need to save these now with course play with the new course play 7 we've got some new features so obviously we've in the main menu we've got vehicle settings we've got global settings and then we've got the course manager setting here now i've already got some courses laid in and what i'm actually going to do before I do anything else is actually delete these so what you need to do if you want to delete or modify any of your courses is to hit the spacebar or hit change mode there and you can see you get some new options down the bottom I think we're going to delete this moment collect one so delete entry you can either hit X or you can click the button I always just click the buttons because I just find it easier and then hit yes so we hit I think we could delete this folder as well so we go to delete entry so once if you want to delete a folder you can't do it if there's actual courses in it but once you've actually removed all the courses it just has the same option so if you go to delete entry and then hit activate it should should delete that but it's not i don't know why change mode delete entry activate yeah there we go just had to go out of the main menu maybe it was just because i deleted the course previously so yeah it's just the same as deleting courses obviously once the folder is empty just go delete entry and then we don't have any folders so we've got our new course we want to save that but before we do we want to go back to change mode again and then first thing we want to do before we save our course is we want to create a folder for it so i'm going to go create folder bottom right there but that was c and then i'm going to go field 10 that's my naming convention rather obviously and then hit ok hit enter or the ok button and then we've got our field 10 folder i've also got another field which is field 6 so i'm going to create another folder field 6 okay so we've got our two folders here now this is in field 10 so i'm going to make sure i am in field 10 when i go to save this course so make sure you uh, left click on the folder that you're going to save into and then you go to save course and then nothing happens first of all you have to click that activate button i think that's one of the little bit of a stumbling block first of all you think oh nothing's happened you have to click either space or click on activate and then we can go to so this is field 10 mo and collect that's my naming convention and then just hit the ok button and we've saved our course into field 10 now you can move courses into different folders but we've i've just had a little bit of a glitch i think with it and we're just going to exit this real quick and then open it again so if i click on my course go to change mode and then sh down here we should have move entry and then i should be able to click on field six and then activate but it just does it just deletes the folder so i'm not sure if there's a little bit of a bug i am on 7.0.1 uh, i think is the latest version that i'm on so i think for now it's probably just safer to save make sure you have the correct folder selected when you want to say uh, save your course so i'm just going to recreate that folder it might be something that i've done slightly wrong but it does seem to be a little bit of a little bit of a glitch it did work previously so yeah make sure you've selected the right folder before you go save course now let's say we want to start a new course on something so we've got this course loaded here we want to clear this course so nice and straightforward there's a big clear current course hit that and then we've cleared the course that we're on and then to actually load the course we're going to hit that moment collect so if you want to left click on the folder that it's in left click on the actual course we want to load and then down here we can either hit x or we can hit the button and then obviously we have to hit the activate button again just there we go so we've loaded that course so it is relatively relatively straightforward but it is a lot different to how it was in fs19 what you can also do which i don't think you could do with fs19 is actually change the name of the actual courses so if we go to um, change mode again and then you can see here we've got rename entry and then once you've hit that you obviously activate again and then we can go 10 10 
just to show you that you can actually change the name so we go back to if we go back to change mode this is the current mode that you will have at the beginning when you first go onto the course manager option you go to change mode you go to rename entry activate and then 10 mo and collect hit enter and then we've renamed that op, uh, entry and you can also do that for empty folders as well can you do it for rename entry field 11 Oh, so these don't have to be empty that's fine so if you go to rename entry again obviously this activate field 10 so we can rename folders as well which is really handy sometimes you might just do a little bit of a typo before you know just before you hit enter and you think damn i've got the wrong name for that and what you'd have to do in the previous version was actually delete the course and then resave it but this you can actually rename the entry as long as you remember to hit change mode clear the course course has gone left click on the course you want to go left click again and then activate or space and then the course has loaded so i think that covers most of the options in the course play manager options if you've got any other questions about loading saving or moving your courses then do let me know in the comments below and i'll try and answer them as best as i can but i'm going to leave it there for today and say until next time bye bye